Okay. I finally managed to get to talk to you guys after like a whole month and a half. I'm not even sure how much time has passed because I've been so exhausted after working both of my jobs. So I'm actually kind of happy that I get to talk to you again because I've been wanting to do this review for a long time. And I finally get the chance to do it. So here we go. I'm going to be reviewing this right here. This is the Dr. Bronner's Hemp Baby Unscented Bar Soap. Not the Castile soap that you're familiar with, the bar soap formula. And here's what's left of it after I got done using it. So, it's much bigger than this, trust me. If you've actually used it before, you might have recognized In fact, if you've ever used Dr. Bronner's um, bar soaps before, then you'll be familiar with how big they are. I found this over at the vitamin shop. I believe it was between 4 to $5. I think it was like $4.49. I don't remember exactly. It's probably because I'm too tired to even remember anything right now. But anyway, I'm going to say the price is between $4 to $5. And I have been using this particular soap for a while now. It doesn't have a scent. If anything, it just smells like plain soap. So I'm not going to talk much about the scent. In terms of the lather, the lather is very foamy and bubbly. So, you don't need much to get a good lather out of this. Just like a few swipes and you'll get a lot of bubbles from it. The bubbles kind of mellow down into a nice foam that you can easily work with. And you can easily rub on the dirtiest areas of your body. It does claim to, um, I guess, moisturize. Or In fact, most of Dr. Bronner's soaps claim to leave your skin nice and moisturized and supple. I didn't really get that with this soap. If anything, this is a good soap in my opinion that gets you really clean. If you want a deep clean, this would be the soap to try. But if you're looking for more moisturizing stuff, I would say you'd have to pass this up and go for something more gentle like let's say Kiss My Face's um, Pure Olive Oil Soap. Because this, while it gives you a nice deep clean, it can be very, very harsh. I know for a fact that I can use this on my body and for shaving for no problem, but in terms of using it for my face, it's just too harsh because it really sucks everything out. And in fact, now that I think about it, this particular bar is said to have double the olive oil and it's supposed to be very moisturizing and it's supposed to be mild, but like I said, it didn't quite work for me that way. I can't use it on my face because it did dry out my face which made my face even more oily and I had to overcompensate and it just wasn't a good combination. On my body, it got the dirtiest parts of my body clean under my arms, my feet, you know, those kinds of things. I have not used this on my hair and I will not use it on my hair because it's so harsh and I don't trust and the last time that I used Dr. Bronner's soaps on my hair, it really dried it out, even with apple cider vinegar rinse included afterwards. So, no way in the world am I going to put this on my hair. So that's the only place I can't really tell you about. In terms of it being a good shaving bar, it's really good. The foam is still there. The foam lasts for a little bit before it starts to mellow out. But it's a pretty good bar that you can use for shaving, if you like roughing it like I do. I don't like using shaving creams in a bottle because they tend to make me feel really slimy. But this will be a really good shaving bar to use. Now I do have this little silver left and I haven't determined on what I'm going to do with it. I haven't determined if I'm just going to throw it in with the other soap scraps that I have and then just use it through a soap saver or something. I don't know, but I know that I still have this little scrap left. So to put it, basic, to put it very simply... This particular soap in general, even though it claims to have double the olive oil and not have any, um, you know, fragrances whatsoever, I don't think it's particularly very moisturizing. I know for me it's not very moisturizing. It just does what it's supposed to do like a regular soap would and that's just to get me clean and fresh smelling without smelling, having terrible body odor or feeling like I just walked out of a, I don't know, a dumpster. So, if anything, I would give it 4 out of 5 stars, maybe 4 out of 5 flowers. That's pretty much all I have to say about this. Now, I don't just use the Baby Unscented one. I have tried the, let me see, the lemon, the citrus lemon one. I think that's what it is. I know it's just probably the citrus one because I don't know the 
scent is either lemon or lime or orange but I have tried that one and I have tried the hemp rose one which is actually one of my favorites but that's all I have to say about this if you've actually tried it or you use it other than on yourself let me know in the comments below if you have any other uses for it just tell me in the comments below and give me your opinions about this particular soap so and as always, if you like my review, a thumbs up is appreciated. What I'm going to try to do is keep these reviews as short as possible because I feel like I ramble way too much. And because my life is kind of busy right now, I don't want to waste a lot of time. I just want to get this done as, as soon as I can so I can get plenty of sleep because I need to get some more sleep. So I am going to go now and I will see you in the next video, which by the way, what I'm going to do for the next video is, let me see, you know what, you're just going to have to wait and see till the next video, okay guys? So I will see you then and if you're like me and you got a lot of stuff to do, please make sure you get plenty of sleep and try to stay warm because cooler temperatures are coming in. Alright guys, have a happy Halloween even though it's October. So, have a happy Halloween and stay warm. See you later, guys.